Hello, good evening. Hello, everybody. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, mister. Mire, ahorita voy de camino hacia mi casa. Ya voy a confirmar cuando ya esté ahí para poder participar y poder responder. Ok, no problem. That's ok. Thank you for telling me. Gracias por decirme. Thank you. Ay, buen viaje. All right, so... Good evening for the ones who are just getting home, for the ones who are already there, and for the ones who are on the way home. All right, so basically, this is the video conference number 10. So basically, today, on, on, on this case, tonight, we are going to be finishing uh, the second week, All right? So, I don't know if you have already finished the homework, the pending homework that some of you uh, still owe me on the platform and the midterm exam. It was for today also. So I hope you to do it, uh, you have done it. We're gonna check that at the end if you have finished that part. All right, so what we are going to be doing is just a general feedback, right, from the main topics that we have been discussing during the week. So let's start over because we got, you know, like some practice to do, all right, and a lot of things to check because we haven't checked some information, things that we were discussing last class. So let's start over. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna start with the attendance list. Uh, Gabriel Esau. <clears throat> I am, he's on the way home. Guadalupe Noemi. <clears throat> All right, so Guadalupe is not there. It is Cecilia. No, okay, she's not there. Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. Now, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Give me one second. Jose Moises. Jose Moises, okay, it is not here. Judith Maribel. Judith Maribel, okay. She's not here yet. Carla Ivania. Carla Ivania. Ah, okay, Carla, you're on the way home. Carla Lorena. Carla, okay, it's not there. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Ah, okay, thank you. All right, Kevin Ramiro. First percentage. Now, okay. Good. Let me see. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. No, okay. she is not there. Marilyn Alejandra.
Marilyn Arch is not here. Uh, Mario Ernesto. Yes, ah, okay, thank you, Mr. Uh, Monica Maricela. All right, she got the idea disconnected. Oscar Armando. Oscar, all right, no there. Patricia Guadalupe. Patricia Guadalupe. Okay, she is not there. Roberto Emilio. Okay, no Roberto yet. Ruth Guadalupe. Ah, okay. Good. Santos Cristina. No, okay, no here. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Teacher, I'm here. Oh. All right, Carla, thank you for telling me. Just give me one second, I'm gonna place you here. Carla Lorena, right? Okay, yeah, I mean, I already have you in the attendance list. Thank you for, for telling me. And just let me give you a second. Uh, okay, Katherine, thank you for telling me that also. All right, people, so we are going to start with uh, the topic or uh, the series of topics that we are going to be discussing tonight. As I said before, uh, before some of you got connected, tonight we are going to finish week number two, all right? So it's going to be a general practice, the one that we are going to be uh, doing. But before doing the general practice, if you remember yesterday, we were discussing uh, and we were uh, doing a couple of exercises in the manual related to one specific topic. So we are going to check that. And after checking those exercises that you were doing, we are going to proceed to the practice or the general practice and review that we are going to be doing with the topics that we just discussed this week, during this week, all right? So that's how we are going to start the class. All right, people. So for the ones who are just getting connected and for the ones who are here already, what were we discussing yesterday or last night or prior class, as you wanna call it? What did you remember from last class? Teacher, ya pasó lista. Yes, Cristina. Me puede anotar que ya estoy aquí, por favor. Lo voy a pensar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Cristina, claro que sí. <laughs> Gracias. No, okay, let me see. All right, I got you there. Ah, oh, yeah, you got it here. All right, people, so as I said, what were we discussing yesterday? What did you remember? Friend, would you like? Huh? The topic, would you like? Good like, good like. Good like. Yes. Hey, ¿Cuál era el otro topic? Um, mm, 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 no recuerdo, no tengo, me conecté tarde ayer. I am, and you got, you got connected very late. Yes. Mientras Carla decía, ay, teacher, ya, ahora sí, ya, ya, ya voy llegando acá. Y yo así como que, okay, everybody, good night. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just kidding, Carla. Yeah. The topics that we were discussing yesterday was the uses of would, would, and would like. Que básicamente viene siendo la misma estructura Solo que en este caso vimos una estructura en frase. Will, que en este caso es un modal verb, ¿ok? Will plus any verb. ¿Qué significa any verb? Cualquier verbo, right? 
Y la otra estructura en sí era una frase que era would like. Would like plus any verb. Would like, que en este caso es como gustaría más cualquier verbo dependiendo de la situación de la que hubiésemos estado hablando o de la que pues podamos hablar, right? So basically, those were the structure that yesterday we were discussing. But before starting with that, give me one second. I want to show the, the thing that we were discussing yesterday. Let me see. Okay, we stayed in page 25 yesterday. If I, if I don't, if I am not wrong, let me correct myself. I think it was this page, the one that we were discussing, right, guys? Esta era la página en la que estuvimos eh, trabajando ayer o comenzamos a trabajar. All right. Si recuerdan, básicamente solo estuvimos trabajando en los ejercicios, pero no los revisamos. Ok. So tonight we are going to check them. That's what we are going to be doing. <coughs> so just give me one second. I'm going to make this bigger. <clears throat> okay. So we got two questions in this case. All right. Y como debo suponer que terminaron esta parte, pues no vamos a leer toda la, la, la parte del texto que tenemos más arriba, que pues corresponde a básicamente lo que estuvimos haciendo ahí. Y en el I'm going to look down this thing. All right. Okay, so let's continue with this. So if we got this one, number one, it says, before doing that one, it says in, in here, check the refund form to answer the questions, compare answers, it says. For example, number one, what are the reasons the customer wants a refund? What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? Okay, in this case, I'm gonna ask a couple of questions. What's the type of answer that you have? And then just to compare what you got. For example, Jesus Christ, who was working with me? So let me see. Ruth, what do you have in that one? Um, the reason is that nothing charges the product. No, give me one second. Repeat again, please. <laughs> I don't know, probably it is, is, is my audio. Perdón. <laughs> no, repeat again. Me está diciendo que conteste la pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. The reason... Horizon, the reason is that missing parts the product. Ah, okay. There were some missing parts of the product. That's why the customer wants a refund. Nah, okay. That's what you got. Okay. And in that case, it's, 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 it's correct. The type of answer that you got. Let me see. I want to listen to a different answer. So probably somebody else got something different. Marilyn, what do you have in that case? <laughs> Marilyn, are you there, Marilyn? Sí, lo siento, estoy cocinando, no estaba poniendo atención. Digan. <laughs> ok, 
Y yo dije, no, Marilyn, ya está bien dormida. No, después de no, comer, aquí está, después de comer, no, dije, pues como dicen que después de los 20, después de comer, ya da sueño. No, aquí estoy. Lo que pasa es que está haciendo el almuerzo de mañana. Ah, ah, ok. That's cool, man. That's cool. All right. But do you have, do you have uh, uh, the, the manual open or no? No. Ok. Who was working with you? Um, ¿Cómo es que se llama este niño? Ay. Ah, no, este, ¿cómo se llama? Carla. Ah, Carla. Eso, which Carla? Ivania o Mendoza? Eh, Carla Mendoza. Ay, esta niña, no puede decir. Yes. <risa> Solo se está riendo. Ok. okay. All right. ¿Por qué la hace sufrir, Carla? She's cooking uh, tomorrow's uh, lunch. <laughs> you don't help her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Carla. What did you okay. have in number one? <laughs> number one or number two? I mean, one, one, one. A diff I want a different answer in comparison to Ruth's answer. Quiero no. ver si tienen algo diferente. Mm -hmm. Es lo mismo, teacher. You got the, the same thing? Yes, uh, missing part. No, okay, so read number two for me then, and the answer. Okay, good. The customer get the refund. Why? Yes, because he's this dissatisfied with the process. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, yeah, basically because he is dissatisfied with the product. And besides that, there are some missing parts, right? Yes. Okay, good. That was that part. Now let's go down in here. We got a couple of examples using wool and wool like the structure that we were discussing yesterday. So we're gonna read that later on. And we are gonna focus right now on here. In this exercise. And it says, listen, exercise five, complete the following statements or questions. Listen, complete the following statements or questions. Complete las siguientes pre, eh, oraciones o preguntas. Mario, could you please help me at reading number one? The way you have it. Ahorita. Okay, mister. Uh, number five, number one. Yes. I would like to go to the movies. Movies? Movies. Ah, okay. Very good. I would like to go to the movies. Excellent. Thank you, mister. Thank you. Let me see who else can participate. Jesus Christ, very, very few students are, are connected tonight. A mí me tocó con Don Mario. Okay. Could you give me number two, Cristina? Um, ah, no, no sería la, la one, la número uno. No, porque ella, ella me la dio él. Ah, es que como hicimos una cada uno, pero no hay problema. Ah, no, eso era en la uno. Number two, Cristina, number two. Sí, sí, sí. Go to he jing. Go to he Ah, you mean in here, Mr. Trujillo? Uh, no, go to he jing. Mm. No se comprende. <laughs> no, 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 sí le comprendo. Lo que pasa Ajá. es que el inicio no me lo está leyendo, Cristina. Ah, perdón, perdón. Golchi. Ah, no, 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 Cristina, esa no. es la número tres. 
That's lo number siento, three. Lo siento, lo siento. Yo iba para abajo, no para los lados. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Trujillo will not. Mr. Trujillo to go do exercise. Wouldn't, wouldn't do exercise. Okay. Perdón, teacher, no le escuché bien. Sería de este modo entonces. Solo el do exercise habría que poner, ¿verdad? Ya no Mr. Trujillo porque ya estaba ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. Yeah, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't do exercise. ¿Así? Ok. Ok, ok. That's what you got, right? Do exercise solamente. Ajá, that's correct. Ok. Ok. Good, that's what you got. Thank you, Cristina. Let me see uh, mm, mm, who else was yesterday in this participation. Ta -da 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 -da. No, man, nobody else besides you. But anyways, I'm going to tell uh, somebody else to help me out with this. Jorge, could you please help me out with number three? Hey, yo no estuve en la clase ayer, teacher. Ah, you were not there, right? Ay, sí, usted, usted faltó ayer, es cierto. That's cool, forget sí. about it, Jorge. Okay. Teacher, teacher, por si le sirve de algo, Oscar también estuvo con Don Mario y conmigo. Oh, Oscar, where is Oscar? No, pero no, no se ha conectado Oscar. Ah, ok. Yes, that's the thing. Jesus Christ, Ruth, help me out reading, Ruth. Ok, teacher. Step three. Se, se turnaron, uh, se turnaron three. ahora. Ok, uh -huh. give me one second, man, Ruth. Will she? Uh -huh. uh, will she do exercise tomorrow? Like this? Will she do exercise tomorrow? All right, good. That's a question for. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Let me see who can be next. Ivania, were you working yesterday? No, I think Ivania is on the way home. Todavía va de camino. All right, Carla. Ok, teacher, uh, number four. Yes. Ok, permítame que estoy trabajando aquí. Ahorita, number four. <laughs> uh, we, we like to travel to the beach. Like this? Yes. Ok, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Ok. All right, let me see somebody else. Mario. Read number five, Mario. Number five. Yes, Mr. Y como se dice así. <laughs> Word, así contactar. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't. He wouldn't like to buy a lobster. You said lobster? Lobster. Ostra? Langosta. Ah, yes, a cosa. No, okay. Good. Let me see the last one. Mm -mm. Thank you, mister, by the way. Uh, let me see. No sé, es que definitivamente ahora se turnaron. Los que ayer no estuvieron están ahora y los que no estuvieron <laughs> ayer. Oh my God, no están acá. But anyways, let me see who else can help me out with that. Uh, 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 uh. Cristina, your turn, Cristina, sorry. Hello, teacher. Help me read the next one. Teacher, la six no la hice. No, no, 
nos dio usted salida. Ya no la hice y ni la hice hoy en el día tampoco. Ok, ok. Yo le ayudo, Ticho. Ah. Yo le ayudo. Ok, yes. Let's go again. Would you like to go to the bed? All right, would you like to go to bed? Would you like to go to bed? Or would you like to go to the bed? It's the same thing. All right. To the bed, teacher? No, yeah. yeah. To the bed or solo Por lo general, es más común así, go to bed. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It's more common this way. Okay, very good. You did it good, people. Thank you for your participation in this case in the development of this type of uh, exercises that we were just discussing last class, all right? But we couldn't, as you remember, we couldn't complete them, right? We couldn't complete them. All right, so let's... Let's uh, start uh, with the presentation I brought for you guys tonight. What are we going to do? As I said, uh, we are going to be just discussing and reviewing what we have been doing the whole week. And this, and this is part of the whole week. Okay, you got it here. Remember, so this is the class number 10, all right? And tonight's topic is vocabulary and practice. That's what we are going to be doing, okay? Okay, so let's start over. What's the most relevant that we have in the class agenda, people? Ah, uh, the general review from the previous topic. It means all the topics. All right. So we are about to have that. We're gonna read each example that is going to be showing it. All right, in here and in the manual. And then at the end, you're gonna be working in the manual you know with some activities of course right and we're going to be checking those activities and at the end well we're just going to live so let's just start over do you guys remember this topic demonstrative pronoun así a quemar ropa como dicen que es un demonstrative pronoun o cuáles son ¿Y cuándo los ocupo? ¿O para qué sirven? What did you guys remember from that thing? People. What? Cuando, cuando nos queremos referir a algo, como ese, este, esos, estos, creo que esos son. Now, nah, okay, all right, good. And can you tell me which ones are they? Because you're telling expresión. me in Spanish. Es una expresión, ah. This, that, those, this. <laughs> okay, good. And if I want to, if I want to, to say something in, a, in, in singular, for example, ¿cuál voy a usar? Y si está cerca de mí, y es singular. This. ¿Cómo voy a saber si es this de singular y no de plural? Mm, creo que es un poquito más extensa la pronunciación. This, this. Ay, pero si yo digo, Carla, these are my shoes. This is my cell phone. ¿Cuál es la diferencia ahí? Por el complemento. ¿Complemento? 
Yes. ¿Y qué dice el complemento? ¿Por qué me está mencionando en plural, el artículo en plural? Ahí está diciendo usted la clave que se necesita. Esa es la diferencia. Ok. Que dice eh, básicamente, cuando hablo de una sola cosa en singular, all right, y la forma más común de poderla identificar es con el verbo to be. Si es singular es this is. Si es plural, these are. Y un nombre en plural. All right. Good. That y those, pues por el otro lado es un tanto fácil de poder identificar. Right. Porque ya no tienen un parecido en pronunciación. All right. That's something completely, completely different. Ok. There you go. Nah, give me one second, people. Ay. Se escucha bonito el chaparrastique. Ay. Creo que está volviendo a explotar. Se escucha, teacher. Ayúdate, este video. Yes. Está ¡Qué bien. miedo! <risa> No, es que, es, que, es que durante el día, eh, bueno, durante todo el día ahora ha estado eh, como haciendo... Emanando gases, pero... Pero lo ha hecho eh, como en explosiones. Se siente un estruendo como cuando va pasando un avión. Así. Qué así miedo. Se siente. Y, y, y es porque va emanando una gran cantidad de... de Qué barbaridad. Más y tiembla, Tiche. Eh, poquito. Sí. Qué miedo, yo ya me hubiera ido. Okay. Right. You wanna, you wanna, you really want to watch something? Por dos caras. Va, miren. Yes. Para que vean que I'm not lying. ¿Quieren ver algo? Yes. All right. This is, this, este fue tomado ya a las cinco y algo de la tarde desde acá de casa. Check that out. Yes. Just for you to have an idea. Just for you to have an idea, that's the way I look at it from my house. Se ve chivo, pero no es sentir de chivo. It looks cool, yes, en la parte sur. Yo ya me hubiera ido. Corra, corra por tu vida. Corre, teacher. Eh. Ahora, es ahora o nunca. <risa> ya ves, en vez de estar dando la clase aquí, ya fuera usted para otro lado. <risa> But you know what? For us is normal. Por, para nosotros eso es normal. O sea, I mean, not, no fear, no nada de miedo y nada de, de eso. ¿Quieren? All right. No. Give me one second. Look at that. Vean eso. That one is a little bit funnier. You're... Qué miedo, teacher. No. That one is even. Está peligroso eso. Sí, teacher. No, but for us it's normal, that thing. Se ve, I mean, se ve bonito, pero. A eso that. le huimos nosotros, a eso le andamos huyendo. Sí, de no, de no quedar miedo. cerca de los volcanes. No, but actually, it's, it's, I mean. Se ve cerca, pero en realidad hay como unos que ocho kilómetros más o pero menos. Pero la lava sí. corre, la lava corre rapidito. Pero uh, no, no, pero aquí es como, no es una que va a pasar nada así. Y mañana el teacher en piedra, porque así erupción es Carbonizado, teacher, y usted en nombre de... ¿Cómo no piedra? Corra, agarra sus maletas ahorita, la vamos a permitir. With my hair, with my hair, like, all furry and dirt and everything, I was like, ah, you in the yeah. class, con ceniza. Se, se cancela todo, teacher, se cancela la clase, evacúe. That was crazy. I'm gonna say that in case. Okay, good. So, take a look at this. This is taken from the manual, okay? This is taken from the manual. Uh, we got this couple of examples just for us to, to, to bring back what we were discussing, okay? Good. So, in this case, the people who didn't participate in the prior activity, so can help me out. So, let me see. Jorge. 
Could you please help me out reading uh, example number one? Uh, le leo todo lo que está aquí ahorita. Uh, the only example one and two. El primero y el segundo three. ejemplo, por favor. I want to buy this computer. Uh, we check in this cell phone on the web, uh, web page. Web page. All right. Thank you, mister. Check this out. I want to buy this computer. What am I saying in that case? Remember, if I say this computer, it's because I am close from the computer and I can't even grab it in my hand. Okay? Put it in my hand. So, es algo cuando tengo cerca el objeto de lo que estoy hablando. Okay? And it is singular. Remember that. And then it says, we checked this cell phone on the web page. Uh, it's something that I got basically on my hand, right? Something that is close from me. Remember. That one is just related to close objects. Remember, okay? Recuerden que eso es básicamente de objetos que tenemos cerca. Y es it. Singular noun. All right? Cool. Now, next one. Let me see. Let me see. Can you participate now, Catherine? <laughs> All right, I think she's she continue being busy. <laughs> Marilyn, did you finish cooking? No, aquí estoy cocinando, pero ajá, dígame. Help, help me reading both examples, the last ones. The last one, okay. Uh the company wants to buy that lift. That lift. Okay, thank you, Marilyn. It says, listen, she is going to order that kit for her friend and the company wants to buy that lift. Okay, what are we expressing in here? In here is basically when we are talking, remember, when we are talking about objects in singular that are far from us, right? Very far from us. All right. Es cuando estamos hablando sobre objetos en singular. Recuerden que están lejos de nosotros. Okay. They are far from us. But they are in singular. For example, let me see. Hey, Ruth, that monitor in the back of you looks... Nice. That is an example, right? Why am I saying that? Because I just see one monitor on Ruth behind, on Ruth back, all right? And it's just one, singular, all right? And it's far from me. Okay, good. So in that case, it's uh, when we can, you know, like express that. And this, of course, is, is, is used, all right, for close objects. All right, guys. Any question with that? Hasta acá, tenemos alguna pregunta? Or oh, everything is getting clear as before? Because if everything is clear, podrían darme dos ejemplos, por favor? Just to start up with that. One example using this and one example using that. Remember that for far objects, this for close objects in singular, okay? Could you please take notes about those two examples and then let me know? Cuando los tengan, enciendan su micrófono y me lo hacen saber. Just let me know. 
when you're done. Let me know when you finish. Teacher. Yes, Cristina. I want to buy this table. This? Table. Be mesa quiere decir table. Ah, te table, table. Table, 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 okay. Okay, very good. Y it, she is going to ask for that lipstick. List, lipstick. Labial, lipstick. Ah, okay, yeah, I mean lipstick. Okay, very good. Thank you, Christina, for your examples. Okay. Somebody else? Uh, I want to buy the book. Okay, good, good. And my, ba my boss wants this computer. Want buy this computer. Ah, uh, want to buy. Wants to buy this computer. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. All right. There you go, thank you. All right, somebody else? Hi. Okay. Let's go. I can already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mario. Do you have another computer computer like this one? All right, very good. My company wants to buy that truck. That truck, okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else? Yes, sir. All right, Ruth, let's go. I want this suit. I want I this? I want this suit. Now, okay. Suit. My daughter is at that table. Okay, my daughter is at that table. All right, perfect, Ruth, thank you. Somebody else, people? Jorge, do you have your examples? Uh, number one, I need to sell uh, this t-shirt. Okay, good. She, she has to go buy the watch. She has to go to buy that she, watch. Uh-huh, correct. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, mister. Thank you. Marilyn, your examples. Nada, se le va a quemar la comida. <laughs> Sorry, Marilyn, continue cooking. Let me see. Ah, 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 somebody else who's, who's, who's in here. Kevin, 
Are you there, Kevin? Present teacher. Hi. Do you have the examples, Kevin? And number one, take, take it, it's car cane. Uh -huh. Number two, mm -hmm. uh, what is take I care? Repeat again. Um, pardon? Podría repetirme la número dos, por favor, casi no le vi. Okay, este. I tie it. Tie kai kai car k. Take care. Take care. Okay, all right. Thank you. Let me see who else is missing. Okay, I think you are the ones that are participating. The other ones are just as listeners. Okay. Demonstrative pronouns now using Teacher. what? Plurals. Uh -huh. El, aquí es con el this. Con el, no. Es con el this. Uh -huh. Y el... Y el das, ¿verdad? This and that. And that. That's correct. For singular objects. Now, take a look at this ones. This ones are the plural ones. Okay. This ones are the plural ones. And uh, for this one, I want... Uh, you, Jose, can you please read example one and two from that? You have to buy these shoes. All right. Yo tengo que comprar esos zapatos. Okay, all right. Uh, in this case, it will be estos zapatos. Uh -huh. Estos. Uh -huh. Very good. Read number two. Uh, he can play with any of these credit cards. Ah, okay. He can pay with any of these credit cards. All right. There you go. So in that case, we are talking about plural objects in this case. Remember. Right, plural objects. Aquí ya, pues ya estamos hablando de plurales más que todo. All right, that's the idea with this. Okay, so let's continue. Mm -hmm. Let me see who can help me out with that. Cristina, help me out reading those examples. Ayúdeme a leer los últimos mm -hmm. dos ejemplos. They purchase those cars. My coworkers, my coworkers sold those products. Sold those products. Okay. Sold those products. Good. Okay. Good. Thank you, Miss. So in this case, remember, people, remember. Those is mostly used for plural objects, but in this case, when those objects are far from us, when they stand lejos de nosotros, okay? This, when you have it close from you, close, and those is like when it's far from you, okay? So that's the difference between these uh, structures, all right? But remember, both of them are plural all right both of them are plurals okay good bien any question guys any question from that thing teacher eh, eh, cuando usted dijo lejos estos dos uh -huh. dos 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 como que tengo dos 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 Esa es la palabra. Those. Those. Okay. 
Dos cars. Uh -huh. No, no dos como el número dos. No, <risa> dos. Agréguele una U después dos. de la O. Dos. Dos. U-S. Dos. Dos y que termine la S. Ok. Exacto. Dos. Dos cars. Eh, entonces, Exacto. eso quiso decir usted que es lejos. Correcto. Lejos, porque dice aquellos. Uh -huh. Esos, esos. Ok. Exactly. <clears throat> okay, good. Now, this one was a different topic, if you remember. Si recuerdan, Ken, hablábamos de esta estructura y más que todo, Ken, la utilizamos para. ¿Para qué utilizamos Ken? People. Root. ¿Para qué la utilizamos? Root. La vamos a motivar para que no se duerma. Ay, que ya no pueda usted estar tranquila. Ya ve que no. <risa> <laughs> me too, Ruth. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But re relax, Ruth. Ten more classes and we're out. Se les desorganizó la Michi. Ay, me Teacher, ¿quién es poder? Vea, puedo. De That's poder. correct. That's correct. Eso, muy bien. That is abilities. All right, exactly. Sorry, Ruk, sorry, Ruk. Lo Thank siento, Ruk. Carla. It's just to show abilities, okay? I'm And since... Marlene. I'm not Carla, I'm Marlene. <laughs> Yo contesté, qué barbaridad. Ah, it was you. It's because I saw that Carla yeah. turn on the microphone. Ah, yo no, creí yo que le... estaba peleando con el arroz ver. todavía. Me. No, ya no. Ya, pero ya según, casi. Se, según yo, usted estaba en la estufa ahí y el arroz le había agarrado fuego y este poder de Cristo echándole agua ahí. No, hoy no hice arroz, hice vegetales salteados y pechuguitas de pollo. No hice arroz. Nomás no lo diga porque me da hambre, please. Ok. Está, le está, está lejos de acá. Man. Vaya. Vaya. Good, man. Good food. Good food. Thank you, Marilyn, for your participation. Ruth, since you didn't participate, Ruth, read example one and two. Okay, I can I can give you my personal information. Read, read again, Ruth. <laughs> I can. I can. I can give you my personal information. Ah, okay. Es que escuché un mi personal information in there, man. Y Carla no me deja mentir. <ríe> right, Carla? Déjalo mentir, Carlita, por favor. <ríe> ok, read number two. Yo te sé. Yes, I said example one and two. Ok. No sé qué le he agarrado contra mí hoy. Uh, actually, all of them are reading example one and two. <ríe> Ya voy a apagar la cámara. Le voy a preguntar más. Los otros, porque no me con, los otros porque no me contestan. Qué barbaridad. Bueno. Ajá. Sí, que no. Se pay. Sí, que no. Pay. No, Ruth. He can't. Can't. Can not is, ah, okay, is perdón, something can, different. He can pay for the washer. But right. I know. Right now. Right now. Okay. 
right now. Right now. Ah, okay. Right All right. Now. There you go. Come on, Ruth. What's going on with you? <laughs> now, I mean, the, the Christmas is coming. Yeah, I mean, you got the arbolito, man, already. I had to see if my arbolito works yet. But okay. Voy a encontrar sorpresas ahí en esa caja. All right, so I'm not going to open it yet. Uh, <laughs> so let me see. Who else can help me out with the next couple of examples? Jorge, pues read example number two. Exactly, man. Los mini duendecitos ahí corriendo después cuando abra la caja. <laughs> That's every year. All right, can Jorge. I have your... uh -huh. uh, okay. Can I have your credit card number? <laughs> okay, good. That's an easy question and a difficult answer, right? Just imagine if someone tells you, hey, Jorge, can I have your debit or credit card number? And you're <laughs> like, here I have. No <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Exactly, man. Como, en el, como un meme que, que circuló en Facebook una vez que decía, miren amigos, acabo de sacar mi tarjeta de débito. Y ponía la foto de la tarjeta y muchos decían, manda el número, el, el, una foto del reverso. Manda una foto y la mandó. Y después decía, miren amigos, aquí otra tarjeta porque la anterior me la bloquearon porque <ríe> me, me la hackearon. <ríe> That was funny. That was funny. <ríe> ok, good. So let's remember, can is used to show abilities when you are talking about a statement in positive, all right? Or positive statements that you want to call it. Those ones are to express ability. And in negatives, is just to express, all right? Something that it doesn't involve an ability. And in questions, is mostly to ask for something all right in this case it's just to ask for permission in this case ya ahí para en preguntas recuerden es para uh, solicitudes all right o permiso all right like like that's the way how can work in this all right category now Right after can, we got could. All right, could. There you go. So we got, let me see, Kevin, can you please read example number one using could? Number one. Yes. Uh, they, Chloe. Uh, uh, that's that's no. number two, Kevin. That's number two. You. You. You could. You could. Call club. Could try. True. Not teacher. Eh, no le parece a ustedes esa, esa, la número uno? Ya hoy sí ya me pareció. Tengo ah. problemas con el Ah, ok. You can three with a no okay. a noter credit card. Ah, ok. Thank you. It says you could try with another credit card. Ah, man, puede intentarlo con otra tarjeta de crédito. All right. Very good. So that's the way how it says. What are we asking in this case, people? Or what are we expressing? Remember, we are asking for a request. Okay, good. Jose, help me read in the second example, please. They, they. Uh, in this case, remember, not... it's couldn't. Couldn't. Ah. They they couldn't give you my billing address. 
Ah, okay, very good. All right, it says, choo, choo, choo. they couldn't give you my billing address. Good. What about example number three? Gabriel. Hi, Kisha. Hi, mister. Uh, number three. Yes. Could you spell your last name? Ah, okay, very good. Could you spell your last name? Perfect. The Christmas fishing. Mario, help me at reading the last one. Could well, we check the tiles of my order? Ah, okay. Could we check the details of my orders? Very good. So we got it like that, right? So remember, could is mostly for possibilities in a future. That's the most, most common function of could. Okay. Could, recuerden que es el pasado de can. All right. Good. So let's move on. Okay, before doing up with May and Might, give me one second. I'm going to pass the attendance list. And then, continuar, voy a parar un momento y voy a pasar asistencia, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I like your background, Mario. Está bonito, ¿eh? Yes. Hoy viene. <laughs> Hoy viene. No, for real, Mario. Sabe que ahora me estuve acordando de usted. Hoy vi una, un meme de un de un de un sándwich que tenía un como cangrejito ahí y decía los del puerto de la libertad con el desayuno y I was like me, no sé por qué me acordé de usted <risa> ah, bueno. yes, that, was, that was funny y ahora que veo el, el, el pescadito así con el gorrito de navidad me acuerdo de eso that's funny. No, but that that they are they are rebuilding that thing, Mario. Pero esa zona, pues, o soy yo, o me, me, me parecía que el, la zona del malecón como que está en media reconstrucción o algo así, o solamente fue mi imaginación, en una imagen que vi. Pues no, realmente no. ¿No? Eh, eh, han empezado trabajo en la calle, como lo van a esperar cuatro carriles de esa calle. Uh, really? The one yes. from the coast? Sí. De la, la de la costa? Sí, desde lo, de, de el obispo hasta el palmar. Uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be cool then. Ah, it's, va a estar bonita. That's nice, man. That's nice. Okay. Tal vez cuando ya esté a cuatro carriles, <ríe> vamos a cruzarnos por ahí. Oh, my God. Ok, let's start over. Gabriel Esaú. Present. Nice. Guadalupe Noemi. No here. Iris Cecilia. I thought she was here. Uh, Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Jose Moises. Present teacher. All right, good. Judith Maribel. All right, she's not here. Carla Ivani. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Carla Lorena. I'm here. Perfect. Catherine Guadalupe. No, okay, she's not here. Kevin Ramiro. Present teacher. Okay, good. Maria Elena. Okay, so she is not here. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra. 
present. Okay. Good. Mario Ernesto. Present. All right, perfect. Monica Maricela. Mm -hmm. All right, so she's not here. Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. Okay, he is not here. Patricia Guadalupe. Patricia, okay, she didn't get connected. Roberto Emilio. Okay, Roberto. Ruth Guadalupe. Present Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jocelyn Stephanie. All right, so Jocelyn is not here. Okay, so I'm going to project what we stayed on. Hmm. Okay, now we're going to start off with the uses of May. All right, just take a look at, uh, um, at the examples, right? Read them briefly, and then we're going to go out to the practice, to the general practice that we are going to have, all right? So let me see who can help me out. Mm. Kevin, help me at reading one. Present teacher. Hi, mister. Could you help me at reading the example number one? I make ice cake for re, uh, refund. Refund, a refund. Refund. All right, I may ask for a refund. Okay, very good. Thank you, mister. Gabriel, read example number two. You may buy at different store. Okay, thank you. You may buy at a different store. Good. Cristina, number three. They may not provide, provide a good ser, ser, service. 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 Se voy a repetir. They may not provide a Pro, good... Uh, provide. 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 No, sin la, sin la E. Ok. Uh -huh. They may not provide, provide uh -huh. a good service. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Now, the next one. <laughs> Jorge. It's my no reach your, your expectation. It expectation. may not. All right. It may not. Reach your expectations. Okay, very good. There you go. Para que decíamos que usábamos May? Can somebody remember? Probabilidad o posibilidad? Yeah, probabilidad. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank bueno. you. People remember. Remember, for possibility and probability, right? Thank you. All right, I'm not gonna ask any examples of this because we have a practice that is waiting for us. Now, using might. Cuando usamos might? Igual que may. That's correct. It is basically the same as may. Very good. So, Let's read the examples that we got in there. Ruth, read one. She made one hard phone on two those, those? those units. Units, okay, thank you. She might want a refund of those units, all right? Ella podría querer un reembolso de esas unidades. Says, that's what it says, okay. Mario, read the second one. 
perdón, they might, they might complain about the They might complain about the service. Ah, okay, the service. Thank you, Mr. Carla. Help me already. Okay, we might have to talk with the supervisor. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. And the last one, Marilyn. Marilyn, no. Are you there, miss? <laughs> okay, I guess she is not there. Can somebody help me out reading that one, please? Please, alguien que me ayude a leer, eh, por favor. La cuarta, teacher. Yes. Oh, he, he might... No by her her here here ever here here again here again all right here again he might not by here again ah okay thank you okay. yeah he might not buy here again all right él podría no comprar acá de nuevo all right, that's what it says. So remember, take that in consideration. May and might work exactly the same, right? With the same structure, basically. Good, so let's remember, this is just a brief uh, review about what we have been discussing during this week, okay? Now, using wood. All right, this is the structure that we were discussing yesterday, if you remember. All right, so for this one, Gabriel, help me on reading one. I would change this product. Ah, okay, thank you. I will change this product. All right, so in this case, what it says, ah, cambiaría este producto. All right. That's what it means. Okay, thank you, Mr. Now, do, 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 do. let me see, let me see. Ruth. Second one. He will buy there again. Okay, he will buy there again. Si ven la estructura, siempre va a ser siguiendo una secuencia de la fórmula. ¿Y cuál es esa fórmula? Recuerden, subject plus rule plus main verb, plus complement. El main verb o el verbo principal siempre se va a colocar, ¿dónde? Después de would. Siempre después de would. All right? All right, perfect. Now, let's take a look at the other one. Jose. Yes, teacher. Ring number three, mister. Uh, we would not. Wouldn't. Ah, wouldn't. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. wouldn't. Wouldn't stay in this place. Ah, okay, thank you. We wouldn't, wouldn't stay in this place, right? No permaneceríamos en este lugar. All right, that's the meaning of that. And we got the last one, Cristina. Hello, teacher. Read the last one, um, the question. La four, la cuatro. That's correct. Will you give me your information? No, ah, okay, good. Would you give me your information? Okay. So what are we asking in that case? Recuerden, cuando usamos would es para una petición bien formal, all right? 
this is for a formal request. Just keep that on mind. Very good. So any question with that, people? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Teacher, pronuncia wool, que yo no lo tengo muy, muy claro. Wool o Vaya, wool. La L se elimina en la, la pronunciación. Elimina. Simplemente okay. es wood. 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 Como que fuera yeah. G, C, O, O, D. Wood. wood. Y se, la pronunciación termina en D. Wood. All right. Wood. Como que fuera wood. Con... Exactly. Okay. All right. Wood. And, and, in negativo, mm -hmm. eh, sería wouldn't 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 con con e la e, con con r con r Cristina wouldn't 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 yeah, okay wouldn't. okay gracias that's the one all right gracias very good and this is the last part about what we were discussing last class all right so check that out let's read these examples that we got over here mm -hmm. let me see who can help me out carla help me out reading please yes teacher i would like to change this product ah, okay very good i would like to change this product recuerden que acá Ya no se utiliza solamente el will y después cualquier verbo. No, acá sería la frase will like y luego cualquier verbo, dependiendo sobre lo que vamos a hablar. I would like to change this product. Me gustaría cambiar este producto. That's what it says there. All right, Marilyn, help me reading the second example. ¿Cuál? The second example, Miss. Hola. Hello. Sí. The sí. second example. The second, um, he would like to buy a game. The dog is for a woman. All right. He would like to buy that again. That's what you get. <laughs> Siente la mala vibra. All right. That's what it says. Listen. He would like to buy there again. Ah, él le gustaría comprar ahí de nuevo. Good. Mario, the next one, mister. They wouldn't like to come back here. Okay. Very good. They wouldn't like to come back here. No les gustaría volver acá de nuevo. All right. Thank you, thank you. Let me see who's gonna read the last one. Ceci, are you there? Mm -hmm. No, también se le está quemando el arroz, dice. Let me see. E, e, e. Jorge, help me reading, Jorge. Would you like to get a ref refund? Okay. Would you like to get a refund? Thank you, mister. So in that case, we got this structure from yesterday. Remember, would like es una expresión básicamente convertida en frase porque ya llevamos un verbo adicional, right? Y después de would like, ustedes son libres de colocar cualquier verbo dependiendo de lo que ustedes van a hablar, all right? So keep that on mind, okay? Just keep that on mind. Any question with the structures? Alguna pregunta con relación a estas estructuras? Something that is not clear for you guys? Algo que no esté del todo claro? Is that everything okay? <laughs> Todo más claro eh, que el cabello de Carla. Ajá, tell me. Este, I have a question. Okay. Eh, what is different between good and, and, and good? Good and? And good. 
could. Uh -huh, could. Could. All right. Could is mostly for possibilities. Remember, could is más que todo para mencionar una posibilidad, all right? Tanto a futuro como una acción en pasado. Ah, okay. Por, por poner un ejemplo, José, yo puedo decir, si estoy hablando de una acción en pasado, I mean, I could do the homework number 10 yesterday. O I could finish the homework number 10 yesterday. That's an action in past. Ahí estamos hablando de una acción en pasado. Okay. Eh, yo pude ver. Exactly. But if you say, I mean, uh, I could win the lottery in a future. I could win the lottery. Exactly. Ah, yo podría ganar la lotería en un futuro. So in that case, what are you expressing? Una posibilidad que remotamente puede suceder in the future. All right? So in this case, would, would, por el otro lado, en este caso viene siendo hablar igual sobre una posibilidad about something, solo que acá en términos de formalidad, would está en el top. All right? Está en el top. Y solo se, y solo y, se puede usar en futuro. Eh, no en futuro, sino en presente. En presente. Más que todo okay. en presente. Más, en, 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 más que todo cuando queremos solicitar algo. Right? Por así decirlo. Listen. Si es en una pregunta. Supongamos, José, que usted está en una fiesta y ve a Ruth con sueño y que nadie le saca a bailar y usted llega como no la conoce. Usted <risa> le dice, hey, Ruth. Would you like? Uh, no, supongamos que no la conoce. Hey, you strange person. Usted persona extraña. Would you like to go and dance with me? Ah, you see, usted está siendo bien formal, solicitando algo de manera formal. All right. Oh, yeah. ¿Por qué? Okay. Porque en este aspecto sería would. Porque usted no Excelente. conoce a Ruth. No conoce a Ruth. Por lo tanto, tiene cierto grado de educación y respeto hacia ella. Ok. okay. Ya, yeah, si sí, está entre cheros. Es extraña, teacher. Eso no es educación. <laughs> Obviously, no, man. I'm just giving my example in, in the way I am. All right. Pero si ya Ruth es su, su amiga, su chera del alma and everything, entonces si la ve solita ahí, entonces ahí sí podría usar could. All right. O también can. Solo que can ya es como lo menos formal. Amen. I can we go to dance? All right. Could you dance with me? Oh, will you dance with me? So, solo que will ya es como lo más polite posible. All right. So that's that's the way. That's the way how okay. we can Thank you. differentiate them both. All right. Perfect. Any other question, people? No? Okay, perfect. So I'm going to stop sharing this thing now because I want you to open up your books, people, your books, your manuals, actually, in page 27. Let's go to the page 27 because I'm going to send you to work from here. No. Check this out. This is a general review, all right? It says online, uh, let me see. Online orders and refunds. What are we going to be doing? Listen, acá tenemos una serie de actividades que vamos a estar practicando, all right? In both pages in here. We got two pages in here. Yeah, two pages. Vamos a explicar la primera página en qué consiste. Listen up. Over here, people, it says vocabulary practice. Match the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. Vaya, acá lo que van a hacer es unir, right? Doing a match. This information with this information. Lo que van a hacer ustedes acá básicamente es unir estas partes para formar una secuencia de cómo hacer una compra en línea. ¿Cuál es el primer paso? Okay. 
Por ejemplo, vamos a ver acá. Tenemos credit cards. Confirm your information. Select the item or items. Go to the right. Check. Confirm the method. Recuerde que esto solo es la mitad y va a encontrar la otra mitad en la sección anaranjada. Log in. Y acá tenemos to purchase the price to your account information online web page of payment submit billing address. Según ustedes acá, ¿cuál sería la primer frase u oración para poder formar? ¿Mm? Go, to, go, to, go to the online web page. Perfect, mister. Perfect. Thank you. Go to. Go to. Online web page. All right. Go to the online web page. Diríjase o váyase a la página. All right. Web. O el sitio de internet. There you go. Ahí sería, right, matching those things. Para los que no tienen esta parte y pueden editar en, 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 en el PDF, pueden ponerlas acá, a la par de, de, de estas acá. Right? En esta zona. Oh, you know how to do it. Y recuerden, vamos a hacer como un, una, una serie de... Ah, si la, el primero es go to the online webpage, ese sería como el número uno, right? Entonces me van a, a descifrar cuáles son los pasos desde el primero hasta el último. All right, in here. Bien, ¿comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer ahí? Do you understand? Any question? No? Ok, perfecto. In here, right after you finish that one, it says... Ask different partners valid reasons why customer can ask for a refund and reasons when they cannot ask for it. Mm. Déjenme esto en blanco. Esto lo vamos a hacer si tenemos más tiempo. Si nos sobra tiempo, lo vamos a hacer. Eso es un tanto... Y, 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 es más relevante esto para mí. Demonstrative pronouns. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Dice... Read the description and write down the correct demonstrative pronoun. This, that, this, and those. Me van a completar esta serie de oraciones usando estos pronombres demonstrativos. All right? Depending on what you think it is. Okay? And here. And in the last part over here, tenemos can and could. What are we going to do here? It says, complete the different questions and ask them to a partner and write down the answer. Acá son preguntas usando can and could. Ustedes acá nada más tienen el inicio de la pregunta. Entonces ustedes le ponen el verbo principal y un complemento. ¿Cómo así? Can you... Buy me a brand new car, for example. No, no, give me one second. It's not in this one. It's a just no question. It's an information question. What can you buy for me? Dejémoslo así. Este es mi ejemplo, for example. What can you buy for me? Supongamos que Cristina está trabajando con Carla y tienen esta información, All right? Listen, listen. Esta es la forma en cómo vamos a hacer esto. Si Carla está trabajando con Cristina, Carla va a poner sus preguntas acá y Cristina va a hacer las de ella. ¿Ok? Luego la respuesta solamente se las van a intercambiar. ¿Cómo así? Si Cristina escribe, what can you buy for me? Carla le puede decir, I can buy a Ferrari for you. And this is the answer. Ya tienen la respuesta ahí. ¿Ok? This is the way how uh, you can do in this type of examples, questions, okay? Perfect. ¿Alguna pregunta con lo que me van a hacer? No? 
Okay. Confirmo para mí también, entonces. Ay, amén. Del aguinaldo saca el Ferrari, Carlos. Pero de juguetes. Y, Car y, Car y, y Carla, así como tipo yo, si supiera que ya lo debemos, dice Carla. Okay, good. So I'm going to create the groups just for us to go to work, okay? Give me one second. I'm going to stop sharing this. And I would like to know who is active and who isn't, people. Y me gustaría saber quién está activo para poder enviarlos a trabajar. All right. Podrían ponerme una hands up, please. Un hands up. Katherine, Marilyn, Iris, Kevin, Monica. Are you there? Marilyn, Gabriel, Jose. Okay, perfect. All right. And Jorge. Ceci, you're not participating yet. Kevin, are you going to participate? Mm. Jenkins, uh, okay, Ivania. No worries, so Kevin didn't reply, so I'm gonna stay with the people who raised their hand. All right, I'm gonna sign them manually. Give me one second, people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to include these people even though they are not going to be working in here. All right, so let's go to work, people. Let's enter to the breakout room, please. Sí, en la número. Teacher. Yes. Lo de abajo de donde dice práctica de vocabulario, 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 vocabulario práctica. Eso en blanco lo vamos a dejar, ver. No, el cuadro es el que van a dejar en blanco. Ajá, el cuadro, el cuadro, sí. Yes, yes. Lo anterior, sí, lo de enlazar las frases. Sí, eso sí. Eso Ajá. sí, ya. Yeah. Ah, pues sí, ah, pues sí, está bien. Y de ahí sería de, de, con, con respecto al, al diálogo. Dijo que no. ¿Cuál diálogo? Ah, okay. Dijo que todavía no, dijo el teacher. Eh, donde dice name, acceptable reason, unacceptable reason. No. no. Eh, en la no, página en la, 28. En la, ajá. En the no. online orders. The most pronouns. No, ese sí lo vamos a hacer. Ese vamos a poner ahí a completar los espacios con this, ah, that, okay, this, and okay. those. Ah, ok, ok. Eso es lo que vamos a, a llenar ahí. Vaya, teacher, gracias. All right. Aparte de eso, solamente. Uh, y, uh, y las preguntas de abajo. De uh -huh. I will be able. That's correct. Ah, okay. sí, ya nos dio un ejemplo el teacher. 
Exactly. Que en este caso sería de what can you, when could you, where can you, how could you. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Bye. Gracias. Entonces vamos right. a ver a quién corresponde Credit Card. Sí. Credit Card. Oh. Okay. creo que sería la cuarta sería check con the price oh. oops uy esta cosa se va a descargar give me one second people I'm coming I'm gonna go for the charger of the computer okay teacher vale la cuatro la cinco eh, all right. Escribir, ¿se ven? Creo que de ahí sería. Eh, eh, confirmar método de pago. Method of payment. Sería con la tercera allá abajo para arriba. Con las rojas, la tercera allá abajo para arriba. Ay. Algo recto me sale <risas> Qué chiste. Pero que hay algo que no me cuadra ese zoom. ¿Sí? Dedicas, confirmar la información. Y es que las actividades no pueden detallar tanto. Es algo sí. que son en el Project Pro y también en el Project Pro. Ahí sería, bueno, vamos, primero entrar, eh, abrir la página, entrar con nuestra contraseña, select the system. Teacher, ¿verdad que íbamos a unir eso, vea? No le escucho nada. Teacher. Ay, ahí tienen sí, ve, ya acá de micrófono. No. Yes, eh, y luego ver cuál era el primero, segundo, hasta el último. Mm. Ok. Pero, uh, credit card. Vamos a ver el orden de una vez. Ok. Lo que... Lo que... Yo volver a hacer. Fíjate que login creo que va. Creo que va. Login online web page. Mm. Sería así. Y dijiste que el de check. Check. Eh, Your account. Sería así, ¿verdad? Sí, Y este sería así. Credit card to purchase. Falta write, go to the. Here. Mm -hmm. Confirm your information, también falta. Submit es envío. Confirmar yeah. la información de envío. Mm -hmm. 
Insectos. Puedes tú hacerme un favor, por ejemplo. Mm, pero es como empieza con G. ¿Qué puedes? ¿Qué puedes tú? Recuerden que en una pregunta, recuerden que en una pregunta con what, por lo general no se coloca un complemento o un vocabulario, sino más bien en la respuesta. Yes. Okay. ¿Qué puedes tú? Vamos a poner que can you tell me about the teacher? Yes. Se puede teacher, así. Yes. Can you tell you así, tell me. About the teacher. Perfect. I can. Necesitamos poner el auxiliar, teacher, siempre poner I can. So, o solo podemos poner la respuesta. Sí, en este caso es necesario porque las preguntas son abiertas. Sería, yo puedo decir así. I can tell, I can, Hey, I can say that. I can say good things about the teacher. I can say bad things about the teacher. I can say. Si ponemos. No, no that. Okay, okay, go, go, go like that. I can say that. Uh -huh. All right, I can say that the teacher, uh -huh. <laughs> No, no tiene, sí está bien así la estructura, dicho. yes, creí que iba a poner very fat. <laughs> <laughs> Tú. That's that that too. That too. <laughs> Tú. All right, okay. cool. Let's continue, people, okay? Okay, I teacher. wanna check other groups. All Okay, right. thank you. All right. ¿Qué más podemos poner? Es compra. La compra. Ah, ya no vine, ya no vino a, a finalizar. Hello, ¿cómo van? Ah, Ya hola. no terminaron. <ríe> ya casi. No, teacher, no, teacher, todavía estamos en la 27. Uh, apurémonos, apurémonos. Sí, 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 sí. Ok. Select the items. Ah, pues sí, tú, tú purchase. Creo que esto sería tú. Porque es en plural siempre. ¿Cómo vamos? That's exactly what I was about to ask you. ¿Cómo vamos? Van atrasados. Yo pregunté primero. Well, well, I'm, I'm going good, man. Good. Just watching you writing down things. Let me see. I had to wear those comfortable shoes, those reports. Mm -hmm. Good. Ahí sería that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
कैम में लगता है सबसे अच्छा ओह इंद्रम no se escucha la cancioncita de las lucitas de Navidad de ese árbol, Ruth. No es una canción, Ni le creo. No tiene, no tiene música. Ni le, solo son ni, las luces. ni le creo. Yo el año pasado le compré una tira como... De cinco metros con Lucita. Yo dije, es bonita la canción de Navidad. Y empezó a ti, 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 ti. Dos horas después ya la estaba quebrando. <risa> <risa> no, man. No. That was crazy. Creo que sería el piso ahí, ¿verdad, Ticha? En esta. Where? ¿En esta? ¿La cinco? No, porque lleva arm. Mm. Y because he has R, that's correct. Aww. Aparte lleva children, that's plural. Ah, pues sería... Dos. Es que hay que leer un poquito la parte de abajo, dice, hablando acerca de... Una, una foto colgada en la pared. Ah, pues sí. Ah, pues esta es. Esta. Ah, también en la otra dice Yes. Porque está hablando en singular, ¿verdad? That's correct. Give me one second. Hanging on the wall. Ah, yeah, yeah. Vaya, aquí digamos que hago una pregunta y, me la, y la respuesta me la da Mario. Y Mario, de su pregunta, yo le voy a dar la respuesta. Yes, aunque creo que si lo hacemos así nos vamos a tardar más. Háganlo juntos mejor. Do it together. Ok. Bye, Mario. What can you The comfort like the what can you the homework for me? No le escuché la segunda palabra. What can you do the homework for me? Mm. ¿Podría hacer la tarea por mí? ¿O no? A homework. Oh, for <laughs> La respuesta sería yes of course y es sí, solo yes of course. No, porque es una open question. Oh. No, 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 espérame, espérame, espérame. What can you the homework for me? No. No, 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 porque en ese caso estamos hablando de what can you, qué, qué puedes, okay. qué puedes qué. Por ejemplo, what can you um, what can you eat? Y en la respuesta, I can eat pupusas. Por ejemplo. Después de ese subject siempre tiene que ir un verbo. Después del you siempre va a ir un verbo. Okay.
Ruth. No sé. Ajá, la pregunta está mal. Ruth, remember. Ay, para, perdón, para... perdón. Y la respuesta, ¿por qué me la haciendo con yes? Ay, you're sleeping. I'm giving you the answer, man. You're, giving, you're putting another thing. Va, después de esto tiene que ir un verbo. Dijo. Ajá. Puede poner, what can you read? What can you write? What can you eat? What can you dance? Pero él está diciendo de hacer. Uh, hacer. No, o sea, le estoy dando un montón de verbos ahí, de los cuales usted puede usar. Pero está hablando de una tarea. Es que de eso de, no, es que es, eso de la tarea, usted, elimínelo. Ya no. Se olvidó que ya... no va. Es que preguntas con what por lo general no se pone, eh, no se pone un vocabulario, es eh, decir. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces sería... O puede poner usted ahí, what can you do? ¿Qué puedes hacer? What can you do? Y luego abajo, pues, hay lo que usted puede hacer. Ah, I can okay. sleep in the class. I can participate. <risa> I can... I can... Practice English. Speak English. Exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ay, se me olvidó cómo se pone a hablar así. Así, Hey, ya. Yeah. ¿Vale? Para que vea, que no voy a poner que me voy a dormir. Calidad, calidad. <laughs> All right. Okay, very good. When you could you... ¿Cuándo? To wear. Tuve que usar como ajá, estos zapatos Eso. confortables. Ajá, que compré. Sería, entonces acá sería. Sería. De... Estos. Uh -huh. Que tengo en mano, ¿verdad? Estos. Uh -huh. Tuve que usar estos. Zapatos confortables. Uh -huh. ah. La cuatro. Quiero ver. Ajá, Valles dice que es. Ah, es putting up. A couple. Hello, people. You done? You finished? Hello, teacher. Eh, es nuestro compañero. No, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Se salió del grupo. Creo que lo sacó la aplicación. ¿Cómo se llamaba? Mm. Mm. No recuerdo. <risa> Tengo lagunas mentales, lo siento, teacher. <risa> ya rato fue. Sí. No, de casualidad no sería Jorge. Creo que sí. Es que se volvió a conectar y yo pensé que no está ahí, lo mandé para otro grupo, pero creo que es, tiene problemas de internet porque mmm, se volvió a desconectar otra vez. Ah, pues sí, es el internet. Yes. But, did you continue working in the, in, in the exercises? Yes. Ah, ok. Yo estoy, ya solo me falta dos, creo, quiero ver. Sí, en la última, en la última dos estoy. Ah, ok, perfecto. Teacher, cuando dice who can you, eh, ¿cuál es la pregunta? ¿Quién? No, no entiendo qué lógica tiene who can you. Uh, por ejemplo, who can you send, who can you call? ¿A quién puedes llamar? Who can you call? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Entonces puedo poner Who can you ask for help? ¿Ah? Puedo poner Who can you ask ask for help? Who can you ask ask uh -huh. ask for, for help. help? Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. You can ask the teacher for help. Okay. You can ask the teacher for help. All right. Okay. Okay, cool. So I need just to go and check another group, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. Es que es sobre lo mismo, sobre una, una fotografía colgada en la pared. Dios mío, no va a sacar. Where can you party? Where can you party? Ah, pero como es pregunta. Uh -huh. <laughs> My ya bad people, ir. I told you were finished. Yo creo que ya, ya casi, terminaron. Casi. Estamos craneando las preguntas. Uh... ¿Cómo podrías tú? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo podrías o cómo, o cómo puedes? ¿Cómo pudiste? ¿Cómo pudiste comer tanto? <ríe> Solo en comida y en dormir pienso. Exactly. <ríe> ¿Cómo, pod cómo, ¿Cómo podrías no, dormir, dormir como, todo el día? Póngale, how do you, you live? Oh. How could you live? How, how. Me bloqueé, ¿cómo se escribe how? Aquí okay, dice. So. Oh, Ahí you. lo tiene ya al principio de la pregunta. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, por tu... 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 How could you sleep in class? No sería no así la traducción. ¿Cómo puedes dormirte en clase? No. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo dormirte en clase? How could you sleep in class? ¿Cómo podrías dormir en clase? How could you sleep in class? Yeah, you can put it like that. Perfect, perfect. Apagando la cámara, vamos a poner. Off the camera. Like <laughs> Off the camera. <laughs> All right. Because I want to respect your time, people. I'm going to finish with this right now and let's go back to there and we just check what you got and tomorrow we will continue with that, okay? okay. Nice. See you there. Hello, people. What happened to you, Jorge? Eh, este, no sé si yo, yo accidentalmente cerré la llamada, teacher, pero se me, me salí de la, de la clase. Ah. 
So that's why, yes, compañera Carla Sola. Yes, man. La pobre Carla estaba diciendo, estoy perdida, perdida, perdida. Right, Carla? <laughs> Qué mala onda. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was, she was doing that. And you almost finished, right? Or you finished already? Okay, I mean, that's perfect. That's perfect. No, a lo mejor accidentalmente cerró la, la, lo de la clase. Por eso, that's why he couldn't get connected again. All right, so... Let's let's check a couple of uh, a couple of things that you got in there before we leave, okay? I'm gonna share here this thing just for you to tell me what you have. All right, so give me one second. Now we got this one. Okay, so you got this one, people. Uh, and I'm going to start with Mario. Mario, which one will be the first uh, phrase to complement the sentence? ¿Cómo sería la primera oración, Mario? Following up the steps. Go to the, go to the online web page. Go to the online web page. Yeah. Yes. All right. Very good. Go to the online web page. And this one is, let me see, over here. One, very good. Jose, which one is the second one? Bueno, según Claire, eh, la de comfort to information. Confirm your information. Yes. Ese sería el siguiente paso a, a seguir después de ir al, al sitio de internet. Ah. Um, quiero ver. Uh, select the items to push. Select. Mm. No, 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 no. Uh, sería login. Ajá, uh -huh, ok, login. Login. Submit. Ah. Uh -huh. Creo. Submit. No. Ah. Uh. You see that? To your phone. Ah, ok. Exactly. All right, login to your account. You got the idea, but you were missing that part, ok? Very good. Next one. Ya sonó la radio. Hora de irnos, dice. All right. Next one, Mario. Ah, no, Mario, you were the first one, right? Carla. And confirm your information. Confirm your information. Okay, you got. This is number two. two Okay, you gotta go to the online web page, log into your account, and number three. Confirm your information. Confirm your information. No, Carla. Um, entonces, select Irene's Super Sash. Huh? Select the Irene's Super Sash. All right, select the items to purchase. Item. Purchase. Ah, all right. That will be number three. Ah, okay, very good. Now let's see what else it goes. Jesus Christ, who can I choose from? Jorge. Number four, Jorge. Check the price. Ah. Check the price. Ah, okay. Check the price. This is number four. All right. 
Mariling, give me number five. Okay. Ay, Dios mío. Padre Santo, me confundí. <risa> guay, guay. ¿Por qué? Porque nosotros con, quiero ver con José, solo los unimos, no los enumeramos. En pocas palabras, no le pusimos atención, Tiche. Así. Ajá, cabal. O sea, yo, yo no le puse atención. Soy, soy sincero. Al menos esa parte no. Ajá. ¿Y Marilyn? ¿Por qué no me puse atención, Marilyn? Me dolía el corazón ya eso. Porque andaba haciendo limpieza. <ríe> no, 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 but follow up. Follow up the sequence. Listen, this is not that difficult. Vaya, vamos a seguir la secuencia. Primero, mm -hmm. dice, number one, go to the online webpage. Puede ser la página mm -hmm. de internet. Number two, mm -hmm. log into your account. All right. Mm -hmm. eh, inicia okay. sesión en su cuenta. Number three, mm -hmm. select the item or items to purchase. Seleccionar los productos a comprar. Number four, mm -hmm. check the price. Revise el precio. ¿Cuál sigue después? Mm. Check the price. En, sería, bueno, no sé. En confirm the met the, okay. no, the, of payment o confirm your information. Confirm the. Confirm your information. Ajá, de, ajá. Confirm your information. No, no creo que no. sería credit card information. Acuérdense que no van a poner los detalles de su tarjeta de crédito si no confirman el método de pago. Por eso, eh, ahí era, confirm your information, ah, confirm your method of payment, le dije, o ah. era confirm your information. It's in here. Yeah. All right, confirm the method of payment. Number five. Ah, okay. Very good. You got it like that. Let me see. Who else? Carla. What is number six, Carla? Credit cards information. Very good. All right, credit card. Oh, Jesus Christ. What wow, before? Credit card information. Okay. Very good. Ah, and which one is the next one, Gabriel? Gabriel. Right. Ajá, uh -huh. right. Sería... The billing address. Right, the billing address. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, and the last one, mm -hmm. Mario. Go figure your information to me. Okay, very good. Now give me one second. Uh, here, confirm your information and submit. This is the one that you got it there. Y así es la forma en cómo básicamente teníamos que ordenar esta parte. Ok, good. Listen, pues con las otras es un tanto sencillo porque solo vamos a leer las preguntas y vamos a leer las lo, de los demostrative for now, pero ya eso lo vamos a dejar para mañana. All right, so we're going to leave that for tomorrow como una breve introducción o un breve repaso de lo que hemos estado haciendo esta noche. Okay, so that's the way how we're going to be doing. 
because it's like kind of late as well. So I'm gonna stop sharing that thing. Recuerden, people, ahora finalizamos semana dos. Si no me han hecho el examen de el midterm, háganmelo por favor porque necesito su nota. Y necesito estar la tarea 10, ok, esta noche. So please, uh, I would like you to collaborate with me on that aspect, ok. Cool. So I'm going to pass the attendance list and that's going to be everything for tonight. So, Gabriel Esaú. Present. All right. Guadalupe Noemi. So, it's not here. Iris Cecilia. She was here, but we got, she got disconnected. Jorge Ismael. Present. Okay, good. Jose Moises. Present. All right, good. Judith Maribel. I mean, I didn't see Judith today. She was not here. Carla Ivania. All right, so she's not there. Carla Lorena. Present. Nice. Catherine Guadalupe. She's not there. Kevin Ramiro. All right, so he's not there. Maria Elena. She is not there. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay. Mario Ernesto. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Monica Maricela. Monica, all right, so she is there, but she doesn't have the audio, I guess. I'm gonna place here. Uh, Oscar Armando. All right, so he didn't get connected tonight. Patricia Guadalupe, she's not here. Roberto Emilio, right, so he's here, but working. Ruth Guadalupe. Ah, okay, let me see. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Give me one second. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. All right, so which was not here. So give me one second, people. I just need to, to check who's going to be next. All right, to stay with me with the 10 minutes feedback. So Mario was last day. We got Monica, but Monica is not there. Oscar, Oscar is not here. Patricia is not here. Roberto is not here. Ruth, you're gonna stay with me, Ruth, in the 10 minutes feedback. I'm sorry, but I don't know where is these people. <laughs> All right, for the rest, I hope you have a wonderful night, people, and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Good night, bye, everybody. Bye. All right. I know that it's not fair. <laughs> Nada en la vida es justo, Ruth. Es verdad. <laughs> no, no sé, pero sus compañeros, pues, eh, han faltado demasiado, diría yo, y hemos tenido que saltarnos demasiado. Bueno, en realidad, quienes van a ver los videos es que les van a poner penitencias o posiblemente ya no continúen porque, <risa> ah, porque hay muchos que solo se conectan y no participan. Pues, 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 sí están fallando bastante. ¿verdad? ¿Ah? Pues sí están fallando bastante, le dije. Sí, sí, la verdad que solo se conectan y dejan, a veces el audio está desactivado. En the seat. Uh -huh. Entonces no dicen si están enfermos, si están trabajando, what they are doing, nothing. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. But the intention of this minutes, uh, Ruth, remember, is to clarify any question that you can have related to the topics from since class one until this class number 10. So I don't know if you have any question, Ruth, related to the topics and everything. Uh, 
Mire, cuando lo vemos, no tengo ninguna duda. <risa> good, good point, yeah. Buen punto. Pero cuando, cuando pregunta, no sé qué decir. <risa> Pero eso es más que todo, pues se gana Mucha con información, práctica. Mucha información, Eso ya se gana con la práctica, poco a poco. Yes. Sí. Poniendo Porque práctica. por lo demás, creo que sí le he entendido. Lo que al principio me estaba costando entender era may y me. Might. Might, ajá. Eso sí no lo entendía, pero ahora sí ya lo entendí. All right, that's perfect. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Sí, Así prácticamente que... eso. Esa es la que... parte que más me estaba costando. Ajá, pero prácticamente entonces ya hemos aclarado esa, esa parte. Yes. A mí. Me alegra, me alegra escuchar <laughs> eso. I really like to listen to that thing. Bueno, entonces, con relación a las tareas y la, el examen, that's okay, right? Ya lo terminó. No, ahorita me iba a quedar haciéndolo, por eso es que dije, no, Betty. <risa> sorry, sorry. Va, vale, entonces solo esperaría lo de su nota, entonces, para poder cuadrar ya la, eh, en, en el cuadro de evaluación, ¿ok? Sí, ahorita lo voy a hacer. All right, perfect, Ruth. Uh -huh. Entonces, si ya no hay nada más que, pues, poder aclarar y todo está claro, la dejo. Terminaré si pueda descansar, ok? And see you tomorrow. Ok, teacher. Ah, ok, Ruth. Good night, Ruth. Good night, teacher. All right.